In my role here at Catholic Health Initiatives, I first of all am in charge of sponsorship. And that means I work with the public juridic person that's Catholic Health Care Federation and I'm responsible for it to make sure we are abiding by the canon law in all of our local facilities. And then on the governance side, I am actually staffed to the board. And then I do other things as directed. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of reflection on what brought me to this point in my life. And you know, I'm the oldest of four children. And our parents raised us to be independent people. We always knew that they were there behind us, but we also knew that we were responsible for the results of any of our actions. My parents supported me all the way along and I entered the Dominican Sisters and my congregation has been so supportive in me I've never been a conservative person. I'm very progressive. And they elected me to leadership. And in that leadership, that's when the whole creation of CHI came about. I was like 48 years old. I was on a steering council with all these phenomenal people that put CHI together. And then I go and get a canon law degree and my congregation allowed me to do that. I have two loves, one is sacred scripture and one is canon law. And they are all about truth and love, both of them. Most people would not say that about canon law, but I'm telling you, canon law is about love in the end. Just like scripture opens our lives, it explains spirituality, it explains a message, and allows us to live our lives to its fullest. These canons help us live our life as we go along, and they're not made for everybody to be perfect on the spot. They are made for us to understand what it's about and have that as our guiding light. I'm a, a woman who, my glass is always half full. I'm a very positive, more of a positive person. If something happens, there's a challenge in my life, I'm always looking for why it happened and what I could do for it not to happen again. So I like the praise psalms, and I like in Ephesians when they talks about, I pray for you at all times, no matter where. I pray for you at all times. I just think in my life, my parents taught me to, to be the person I'm supposed to be, and to just do that. It's nothing special. You're just kind of like required to be the person God made you and use the gifts that God gave you. I have been given the opportunity to take health care to a different avenue in the life of religious. It's an amazing experience in my life. 